So hey, what's up guys? I go by the name Saji Gray and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that anytime a new video is released, you would be updated instantly. You guys already know I'm a big fan of the Niagara launcher. I think this, in my opinion, is the best, if not one of the best, minimal launchers out there. And I love the fact that they come up with amazing updates that are actually very, very useful. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you one of their latest updates that I think people out there are going to be excited about. So let's jump right in. So yes, Niagara Launcher is one of the best minimal launchers out there and I love it because it's simple, it's very minimal and it has a lot of functions. So for example, if you want to scan through your applications, you can just swipe on the right or the left side, which is very cool because if you're right-handed or left-handed, you can easily use this launcher with no issues at all. Uh, also, I like the fact that you can just swipe to view stuff or you can also tap this part to view your calendar event and the current weather condition of your particular location, which is an amazing thing. So these are just a few of some of the amazing things Niagara can do, but they have a ton of other features. I'll leave a video up there so that you can check out a video I actually made on the Niagara launcher to see if this is for you or not. So back to the reason why we are doing this video, Niagara has an update called folders and pop-ups. Now this is an amazing feature and I'll be taking you through how it works. So as you can see, my Gmail is right here. I'm going to swipe over for you guys to see what's going to happen. So as I swipe, you guys can see that I have access to all my inboxes. I have about uh, four profiles and then uh, there's the Gmail widget up here, which I can interact with. So I can scroll and have access to my Gmail without necessarily going into the app. So I love that this feature is there. Also, if I come to the phone app, if I swipe, you can see that I have other apps. So I have Binance, I have Blockfolio in there. And basically these are the new features, but um, I wanna just go deep into how it works and how you can activate them. The pop-up feature is truly amazing. Like it gives you access to certain things you can do within an app without necessarily opening the app. So let me just show you what I mean. I'm gonna to navigate to my calendar app. And once I swipe on it, you can see that I have access to my calendar. I can, you know, interact with it without necessarily going into the app, which is pretty cool. Um, if I also go to Netflix, I can click to access it, but if I want to just see what's up, I can just swipe on it and then I have the widget. So like basically pop-up can give you access to your widgets without necessarily having the widgets on your home screen. So it keeps everything very minimal, which I absolutely find useful. So another feature in this update that I love is the folder structure. So as you can see, if I swipe on phone, you'd see that I have Binance and Blockfolio in there. So this is like a folder. I can keep multiple apps in here. And once I swipe, I can have access to it. Now, if you swipe and you long press, you can edit the phone pop-up. So for example, if we click edit phone pop-up, we can choose other apps. And then once we swipe on it, we have access to those apps. However, if you also want to do widgets, you can easily do so as well. So if I go to Pocket Cast, for example, sorry, let me open Pocket Casts. You'd see that I, have, I already have a widget here. If you long press, you'd see Edit Pocket Casts pop up. And once you click that, you can add widgets to the particular app. And these are widgets that you can add within like widgets of the particular app, or you can click more widgets and you know select other widgets which is very interesting so guys these are the two impressive features on the niagara launcher so update it and let me know what you think down in the comment section below now if you want to see you know a comparison between the ratio launcher and the niagara launcher let me know as well and thanks for sticking to the end i'm truly grateful for you watching to the end of this video if you're new here make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that anytime a new video is released you'll be updated instantly i go by the name soji gray and i'll catch you in another one peace out